Hello, and welcome to T-10 Neopets, where we cover a part of Neopia in under 10 minutes. Today, I thought I would read you guys a story. Um, this one will be about Dr. Frank Sloth, who is one of the oldest characters in Neopets lore. And so his story was written a long time ago, but it's still worth a read if you don't know anything about Dr. Sloth or why he's so evil and why everybody talks about him. So, an overview before we start is that his name is Dr. Frank Sloth. His age is possibly hundreds of years old. He is 6'3", and he is an evil scientist and leader of Virtue Pets Corporations, which is actually a visitable place on the Neopets map. His quote is, Pitiful Neopets, you will all soon be my slaves. However, he has had no success so far in enslaving Neopets, which, uh, that's, you could do a better job of that, Sloth. But anyways, so without further ado, let's get into his story. 2,000 years ago, Neopia was not the happy and pleasant place it is today. No, far from it. A barren husk of a world covered with a featureless muddy swamp and endless barren plains. Neopia was not a nice place at all. No sunlight could ever shine on its surface due to the endless, thick, poisonous smog that filled the sky. It is said that one day a young scientist known as Frank Sloth arrived on this desolate world. Nobody really knows how he got there. Some say a spaceship or why he decided to call Neopia his home. But Sloth reveled in his new surroundings. He spent the years conducting vile experiments in his underground lair, trying to create creatures, maybe to assemble an army, or maybe because he was lonely. One day, as Frank emerged from his underground lair to collect samples, something happened, something that he did not expect. A beam of light broke through the thick purple clouds above and shone down on the rock in front of him. Sloth edged back nervously. Where the light was shining, grass was starting to grow at an amazing rate. Soil was forming and wildflowers started to grow on the rocks. Sloth hissed. Where the light had touched his skin, he felt searing pain. He had not seen the light in many hundreds of years. Back in the safety of his underground lab, Sloth used his network of cameras to find out what was happening on the surface above. The light was spreading, and the planet above was changing rapidly. A few of his mutant creatures that had got caught in the light above were melting, turning back into the foul mud from which they were created. This would not do, thought Sloth. His work, his science was being ruined. No, Sloth slams his fist down on his desk. This cannot be. I must leave this accursed planet at once. He got up out of his chair and began to make prep the preparations to leave. As he walked down the corridor, a metallic computerized voice echoed around him. Life form detected. Life form detected. Sloth, puzzled, turned around and walked back to his desk. Who could possibly be here? Neopia had been a desolate and uninhabited uh, for as long as he could remember. A screen flashed up in front of him, showing a location a couple of miles away. A small, dragon-like creature was sitting in a field of grass, with bright light shining down from above. The thick cloud had parted, and Sloth could see trees and rivers around. What is it? What is it? Sloth sat sta staring at the screen. The small dragon creature looked confused. It was looking intently at its new surroundings, taking in every last detail, eyes wide with astonishment. Sloth continued to watch his monitor. Suddenly there was a flash of light and another creature appeared next to the dragon. This one was a smaller creature. A ball of fluff with large feet. It too looked confused. What are these... things? What are they doing in Neopia? Sloth had an idea and smiled. It looked like it might be worth staying in Neopia after all. End of story. So, as you can see in the picture, Sloth is holding 
a very small looking kachik, a yellow kachik, um, it, above the mouths, the gaping mouths, a bunch of mutant worm things. And this lore is significant because not only is it one of the earliest, but if we are to take this story as canon, it actually speaks volumes about how Neopets were created in the first place, in that a sloth visited an uninhabitable world and fiddled around uh, and created mutant creatures and their reaction with sunlight created Neopets. So I'm not sure how canonized this actually is, considering this was written a very, very long time ago. But it is something to think about, and that was Sloth's story. Thank you so much.